Hello! Happy Thursday, and welcome to biannual Hazel Wears Her Murloc Onesie to Stream Day, the other occasion being sometimes on New Year's. Hello! Happy Halloween! I hope you have the spooky holiday of your spookiest dreams. Can't think of another adjective. Cupcake Chaos, thank you for the 48 month reason. Happy 48 month, Hazel. Thank you for the wonderful and chill streams. You work hard and I hope you know it's very much appreciated. Aw, shucks. Oh, you look very comfy. I'm as, I'm as swaddled up as I really can be right here. I'm pretty toasty, it's good. I'm tired. <laughs> um, so what better thing than to do some, do some tricky treating and stuff while being functionally still in bed. <laughs> Lois, thank you very much for the five month resub. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okie dokie, we have, we have costume. I logged on to him. I'm gonna do some tricky treating on him, I think. Not like right away, but I figured his transmog is incredible. We're saving it for sure. That's gonna be what he wears when he's tanking and stuff. But it's oh, Halloween. Stop. And um, I want, my, my priest already has her harvest golem costume and I don't really want to change it. Um, but he, I feel like it would be very cute if I'm trick-or-treating on him if he matches me. So I was gonna, um, I was just gonna put that on. So let's see here. Um, shield-wise, I want, um, this one very, very good. And then his sword's actually probably fine, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think he needs the belt. Um... He could go a little extra and have the green murloc floaty over the green murloc onesie. It's not part of the same set, but it is part of the same um, spirit. I think I'm gonna do it just, just like, just like that. Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna jazz up. We're gonna do the little floaty just in case he falls into the ocean, which is a danger. Apparently, you know, sometimes the the portal does spooky things. And then for the back piece. Um, the Murloc backpack is great. That's a good one. But there's also... Um, I have the Murloc, like the baby Murloc, the sat shells. Why would it work? <laughs> Why would the search work? Who could, who could live? I wonder if they're actually level locked. Cause I don't, oh no, they're there. I don't, I only see two of them. Where's the green one? There's the green one. I don't know why Gurgle's not with the other two. There we go. Um, that's perfect. <laughs> and because I'm doing it on him, it's only eight gold. I feel like I spent like eight hundred gold to mog my priest. So when we do our, when we are ready to continue tricky treating, um, he is ready. He is waiting. He has ninety-two tricky treats on him, and I believe I need another three hundred. So we've got we've got quite a bit more gathering of the currency to do. But first. First, I want to check on my mail and stuff because if I think I'm gonna have the desire to maybe try to buy the Brutusaur with gold, then maybe I should try to make some gold. And then if I don't make enough, then I'll either have more gold or... Nope, that's the only option. Shoot for the moon and if you miss, then you'll have some gold. Belt goes with it. You're matching. So cute. I think they fixed that bug. That's good. Arfus is a lie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Murloc pets, yes. Mounts, not that fly. I have the Murloc mounts, but I don't think I have anything that, that will sky ride. But he can do it on his broom. Uh, what in the worgen has happened to me? I must have stepped on a transformer thing I did. <laughs> there we go. That's better. It's our uh, heroic on Sarek reclare last night. And the last one, I believe. We are finished farming. Nerebar Palace, because we don't want to be there anymore, and we more or less have all the gears. So it's as good a reason as any to stop clearing. Oh, man. I'm tired? Have a great Halloween. Thank you. I am tired. I was up a lot last night. I'm probably just going to nap and try to catch up later today. I had that thing where, I, when I know I'm getting up early, I had my alarm set for 5.30, and I, like, wake up and it's still dark, and for whatever reason, sometimes I'm... Stupid. And I wake up in the middle of the night and I assume I assume that it's like almost 5.30, so it's like almost time for my alarm. So I'm like, I'm just gonna lay in bed and think my thoughts to myself for a little bit before my alarm starts turning on the light and waking me up. 
And then, like, after a while, I'm like, wow, it's taking a long time. And then I check the clock, and it's, like, 3 in the morning. And I'm like, oh, I've... I should I should have just gone back to sleep. Um, so I did that for a while, and then I was up again at 4.30, and then it was like, well, now it's really less than an hour, but... Um, and then and then again at 5. But I did make it out of bed, um, so that was good. And also, I have uh, no compunctions about just going back to bed later, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I did not get Moose a new costume this year. I may try to strap his old costume onto, onto him for fun. I don't think it'll reach, but maybe I can wrap it around a harness or something. <sighs> for just like for a picture. I don't think I'd wear it out. It sounds, sounds like a mess. Um, okie dokie. Um, so I made, unfortunately, a lot of files that I'm now kind of starting to believe that no one actually wants. Um, and I made quite a few of them, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. Hopefully we sell a few more. <laughs> we did a really big batch. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go on a new crafting adventure until I've recouped the losses of my last one. Maybe I should just focus on gathering for that gold. At least that way I can't mess it up too bad. Let's not worry about that for the moment, though. We did lots of great... Let's see, there's a couple things that we could do. We did lots of great, um... Earning of the tokens. Earning of the tokens recently. And, uh, the, the anniversary of tokens. And I'm really close to getting the hundred. I kind of want to look into that, but I also really want to do... I want to do the Hallowfall thing for Hallowfall rep while I have, like, rep buffs. I could go get the, the Wicker rep buff, and I've got nine hours left of this, so I kind of want to do that. Sure, let's just, let's just let's just pick a thing and have at it. I'm going to go pick up a uh, Wicker buff, and then I will, um... <laughs> and then we'll do, we'll do Keep Flames for a little bit, because it's on my mind. We may as well get it off my mind. I'm, I have all the quests, like, on me. I just need to do them. Also did not sleep well here. Poor sleep breaks everything. The one nice thing about it was Kitty Cat was right next to me. She sometimes doesn't... Sometimes she'll go sleep in her own bed, but... For the last couple nights, she has been sleeping on my side of the bed, basically right next to me. And it's very sweet. It makes it tough to sleep, if we're being brutally honest. But I wouldn't trade it for anything, so... Do your Castlegar stuff first. I feel like we did most of it yesterday. Although I definitely ran out of daily or um, stuff in Ashkahet that I wanted to do before I got the the weekly done because I had some weekly left over from last week. So yeah, we could do some of that. Um, I could get some tokens probably. I could probably get some tokens from that weekly. Maybe not actually because I did turn it in this week even if I picked it up last week. I don't know what the rules are. I was surprised it even let me pick it up again to be honest with you. Anyway. There we go. We're stacked up on rep buffs. Love to see that. Hi, sweetie. If they make a mailbox mount to get in game, I wouldn't touch the long box, boy. Yeah, it is kind of a unique benefit right now. Get more from the celebration stuff after the hundred. Yeah, that would be nice. That would definitely be nice. Hi, kitty. <laughs> she always likes sleeping on my lap when I'm wearing the Merlock onesie. She likes the fuzzy fleece pants. Or, yeah, they're, they're still pants even if they're attached. There are tubes you stick your legs into. I think I found another way to get the Undercity buff. Doesn't involve BFA intro. Requires a detour through Silver Moon. Isn't great. Isn't doing the BFA intro. Hmm. Oh, people are buying my files now. That's good. Um, I'm going up, upstairs. Upstairs, we're going. Oh, you're nice and warm. How are you feeling today? You doing good? You were cranky yesterday. You were so cranky last night. <laughs> you did not want me to brush your teeth, which is unusual for you. I usually love that. And then uh, you got mad at the dog for existing. He literally did nothing. You walked right into him, and then you were like, how could you? And he was like, Moose? Huh? <laughs> what? He's like a sitcom character. He's very... He's got a very, like, innocent... Big, like... I'd say he has Golden Retriever energy, but he's literally a, a different type of dog. <laughs> Huh? What did Moose do? What's going on? I came here because I want to go to Hallowfall. And sometimes we like to fly down the core way and then just do the little loopy 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 loop. All, all loopies required. There's a lot of weeklies that I'm not going to do this week because they're PvP. <laughs> and I appreciate that the anniversary event is going on for a couple of months because it means that I can 
fairly guiltlessly skip the ones that I don't want to do, the weeklies that I don't want to do. Because um, I don't want to PvP right now, and I'm just not going to. <sighs> so, you guys got plans for Halloween? I'm going to hand out candy. Maybe dress up in a costume and go to a party, or maybe go walk around and look at all of the decorations, or maybe stay home and watch scary movies. People like doing that. Or stay home and watch happy movies, you know? Live your life. Taking my daughter out. Nice. 23 and Some sunny. Oh, it's going cycling. Nice. These are earth uh, it was 6 degrees These Celsius this morning when I left place. home. And uh, I know because I got in my car and it said burr. <laughs> it didn't really, but it did tell me it was 6 degrees Celsius. Uh, current costume is best. Why, thank you. I appreciate people being kind about it. It's the laziest thing. I pull it out every single year. Um, and you know what? It's comfy. It's good for October. It's nice and warm. <sighs> Alright, so we have all of these quests so we can do them in no particular order. Whatever feels feels good. Um, we must have done the overall bonus objective? You'd think. Yeah, we definitely like contributed to Keyflame. So I may have already got the... I may have already got the... Um, Oh, there's a world quest here that's actually like... Oh, and that's a delve one. All right, we're <laughs> we're in the wrong spot here. I hate that Gigantabella world quest. It has a horrific respawn rate. We don't like that at all. It's gonna be 76 degrees here. Taking my toddler on his first trick-or-treat adventure. <gasps> cute. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. That's cool that you have a toy car. It'd be nice if your car could burn. <laughs> Um, they used to sell these on Blizzard Gear Store and, like, at BlizzCons and stuff. I don't think they've carried them in a while. They've had some different colors over the years as well. The flame um, burns you need a torch. You need, you need a little lamp. You need a mood light. What do you need? Oh, it's the harvest scene one. Yeah, that's right. We have the heat on. It is too much. I've, um, caved and turned the heat on in most rooms now to keep it, like, pretty warm in my apartment because... Kitty does not need to be cold. <laughs> she has enough going on. She does not need to be chilly. Uh, I will, I will, I will run the heaters. It's not a big deal. Oh, I need to make sure I'm picking up. Um, they spawn like next to them, don't they? Life is too short to be cold. That's what I'm saying, you know? Life is for being, <laughs> for kitty cats, life is for being really comfy as much as possible. Arteria, thank you very much for giving out a gift, so. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> you're all good. You're all good. I, uh, I used to get home from, from my morning yoga practice and then go walk the dog immediately, like, still in my yoga clothes. And I used to feel, like, a little bit cute because I see other people wearing leggings outside. And they look more put together than me. And I know you're like, Hazel, leggings aren't very put together. But my normal outfit is, like saggy, vaguely stained, not that stained, they're not dirty, I wash them, but like, saggy sweatpants that have like, dog paw prints on them <laughs> from various dogs jumping up on me. Uh, they are, so leggings is like a, is like a fancy step up, but the trouble with this is that all of my yoga things are damp by the time I get home because I've been sweating and stuff, and it turns out when the temperature gets like below 10 degrees basically, it is not so fun to be walking around in wet clothes, so my new tech is to take them off when I get home, and then I have these really fuzzy pants. They're like, they're like Sherpa fleece lined sweatpants. They're amazing. Um, and I put those on before I walk the dog, and I'm like, ha ha ha, this cold can't touch me. Oh, I'm prepared. It's very satisfying. I love Larry. Mega fuzzy. They are, they're fuzzy and comfy. <laughs> they're very fuzzy. Um, they're incredibly bulky and difficult to store. If I put them in my one of my dresser drawers, they would take up the entire drawer because they're so big. Um, it's a little bit impractical, but I only have the one pair, um, and they stay they stay pretty fuzzy. I wear them in like the mornings, and then I'll take them off usually by afternoon when it warms up too much to wear them. And then if it ever gets really cold, that would be it would be good. Computer, are you okay, or did I do the thing again? I did the thing again. Sometimes I'll hear my computer fans. I'm amazed my stream was fine. Sometimes I hear my computer fans start to go rum, rum, like they really want to be in a race car race. And uh, I'm like, guys, it's World of Warcraft. 
crap, let's all calm down. And then I realize what I've done is I've double launched the game. So I have another instance of the game client just hanging out at the login screen. And that is what makes the fans go from from. That's the thing we don't need. It's probably helping warm it up in here, but. Did you drop any seed seeds? It's really obnoxious that the seeds don't appear to be 100% like spawn right around the harvester when you kill it, when it's an elite, you know? Hmm. Oh well. That's okay. System of love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then another one. This is a very long quest, but I'm kind of... It'll be very satisfying to get all of them done. And it's a lot of rep. And I want the rep for reasons. Plus, you know, the more of these we do, the more chances we get at um, that cat mount that I don't have that Abigail keeps bullying me about. <laughs> I guess I also need the springs from these as well. Oh. <sighs> You know what? I just realized I don't know what my nephew is being for Halloween. I should text my sister and ask. I'm sure it's something adorable. Although I think he has the sniffles. I don't know if he's actually going to be going out. He's only he's only two, two, three, two. Turning three, but he's he's two and a half, I guess. Um. So I'm sure he would love. Trick or treat. Although apparently, not to not to roast the kid too publicly because I very much relate to this. Supposedly he's going through a phase where he, he just learned th like how to like say things like yes and no. And uh, he's really using his new no. And apparently he's using it to say that he doesn't really want to go places. I don't you want to go to the park? No. You want to go for a walk? No. Um, and he just wants to stay home and not wear pants. Which is incredibly relatable. <laughs> and how I know that he is my Units relative. Deactivated. You don't have the cat mount and you call yourself a man collector. Listen, I don't call myself anything. <laughs> I'm just vibing over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, nope, no harvest seeds. This is a this is a tricky one. Oh, I found a bolt though. I wonder if those have been spawning near the near the guys too. Another one. I believe the cat mount does increase vibes by a percent. <laughs> Buff to vibes. I looked at way too many real estate Units listings yesterday. I built myself like three different lives in three different cities and then tore them down to build a new imaginary life in a new new different place. And then be like, oh wait, but this one's good too. And then like, <laughs> I, need, I need to stop is what I need to do. I don't, I don't need to be looking at this right now. It is not, it's helping a little bit, but it's not really helping. Um, one of them was like a really small town actually that had like some affordable homes and it's a little bit remote, but not like crazy remote, but a, you know, kind of remote, a little ways away. And also just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful natural scenery and mountains and like rivers and stuff. Um, and I could actually afford like a little standalone house there with like a little yard. It would be a bit old and it wouldn't be very big, but I don't want very big. I don't want a big house. Um, my dream house is basically my apartment, but in house form. <laughs> <laughs> With maybe like one extra bathroom if we're if we're feeling greedy. Music is so good here. At this point, moving into my garrison might be my most realistic form of home ownership. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> they don't let me paint my garrison. It's very, very disappointing. I feel like I've been doing golems for a long time. We got all the bolts that we needed. There's another seed. And that should be my last seed to plant, so that's good. Oh yeah, the wax one actually is going to help me. Um, the wax weekly, when I do get another six globs, but that will give me tokens. That'll give me eight celebration tokens, and that should push me over the edge, if nothing else has. Well, that's good. Unless we can turn in this one, make the list a little smaller. We got some reputation. Anybody demoralized? Want a, want a torch? Want a lamp? Need a little help? Hope it won't come to that. I think you'd really like small town vibes. As long as you can get a good internet connection, it's just more serene. I did find out that there are there is an internet provider that doesn't do like fiber, but does good enough internet for me to stream on. 
in this in these places um because there's a few different options but i was like trying to imagine myself like what it would be like to live in like a really small not not like 500 people but like under you know under like 6,000 people kind of small town because um compared to the city that's like a pretty big difference and uh you would definitely not want to gossip about any of your neighbors to anybody else because you everybody's gonna know everybody <laughs> like i feel like you would never know when you're talking to someone's aunt's cousin's brother's dentist's wife um so uh not that i not that i really gossip to people about other people um but like <laughs> that would be a real good place to uh keep some thoughts within the four walls of your own home um <sighs> But it was funny. I was like going on like the town council websites for some of these small towns and like looking at their like business registration listings to be like, what kind of businesses are around here? And being like, oh, wow, this place sells this and this and this. What a strange combination of services. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Gossip to us. Terrible idea. Never gossip on the internet. The best place to gossip is to like your partner or like a friend that is very reliable at keeping it confidential because it is fun <laughs> to speculate about other people but uh it's, it's real bad news to do it anywhere that could possibly get back to them so if you have like a nice little bubble of a home um it's that's that's the best oh, what am i doing i need to control my harvest spot over here and then go pick some cabbages and stuff what is that mount? Uh, I think that's the anniversary mount I'm riding. I believe that's the new one that you get for the 20... 20... A cool 20 years. That's what they've called it. It's the Cold Flame Tempest mount. Greetings. Greetings, Thunderbrew. How are you doing today? Well, this isn't one I'm... What I got in the harvest spot for, but it's cool. <laughs> we could use it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get out of the harvest pot. I don't know what I expect you to accomplish there. I'm not even in the right field. You want to go across the way? <laughs> there you go. Do you think he some gossips about us to other people? Yeah, you get it by achievements. Um, they're they're all very straightforward and pretty easy. The main one that takes a little bit of doing is Peanut Gallery wants you to react to the stories at the anniversary event 50 times, which takes a little bit of doing. Um, it's not hard, but it's just a it's just a little bit of a little bit of doing. Oh, did they nerf the amount of cabbage you need to do? I guess it doesn't matter. I feel like it used to be five. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Happy Wowie! <laughs> There's always the scream into the void website. I've never heard of that. It sounds like a like a slightly riskier version of just writing something on paper and then burning it. <laughs> tossing tossing your thoughts into the fire. Or um, telling animals at your local park. Uh, you can always confess to a squirrel. They they usually don't talk. I mean they chatter, but like they don't <laughs> they don't spill, you know. I don't think I need to be in this harvest spot anymore. I think that one's all good. We do need more scallions and stuff. And then shadow blind groupers, I'm just gonna buy. Because those are those are cheap. So just gimme gimme ten of those. I'm not I'm not fishing if I can just drop sixteen gold and have done with it. Never been happier throwing rotten, rotten apples at people for peanut gallery. Yeah, the apples are pissed for sure. Um, scallions? Usually don't talk. Squirrels are always talking to each other. Happy Murloc onesie day. Happy Murloc onesie day. I think it's delightful that a few people have said they like my costume. <laughs> this is the most low effort thing, but I I appreciate the compliments. I feel cute. It's a cute it's a cute outfit. Probably about due for laundering. It's got a fair amount of pet hair on it. Alright, Twilight Spice I think we just buy somewhere. 
one of these vendors has it. Gather the remnants from the land. I think that doing this is going to be the most think-heavy thing I'm probably going to set myself up to do today. Oh, there we go. Oh, I needed my profession treasure, too. That's nice. Because uh, I don't think I'm really going to need my brain for tricky treating. I think if I can get one of these, it'll count for a wax glob. Well, maybe not. Yeah, can't be bothered. IRL trains, fuck. <sighs> Great place for dirt and for wax and treasures and stuff. There we go. All right. Shadow sour mites. Oh, I forgot about those ones. Okay, I need to uh, I need to go jump to get the, the bugs out. That's right. And we go across the bridge, we jump for the buggies, and then we broil them. <laughs> Nothing like some lovely broiled bugs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. I'm surprised Moosey doesn't want to sleep in here. I think he's kind of realized that Kira likes this bed and that it's for the moment like her spot. <laughs> so I think he's kind of given up on it most of the time. Sometimes he'll lay there when I'm raiding, but during stream, he usually just sleeps out front. But he's really tired right now and his dad has gone fishing. So I wondered if maybe, um, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't dig that up. I wondered if maybe uh, he might want to come hang out. I'm hang out with Hazel. Lonely. <laughs> Could use a nice puppy. <sighs> I wonder how ridiculous it would be to try to strap the wings that I, the bat wings back on him that I bought for him last year. He's definitely a different size dog now. <laughs> he is no longer the same size as he was. Which you wouldn't expect him to be. Uh, the Twilight Spice, they mark the vendor in your map, which is very nice of them, because I'm never going to remember who it is. It's over here. In hardship, kindness. Very good. Shine on you. I can turn it over here. What was lost, I have. would have a Heimlich from a Bug's Life vibes with the teeny tiny wings. <laughs> They're not like crazy small, but I don't think the straps will fit around his chest. He's got like a big, deep barrel chest. Remnant satchels. Oh yeah, that's right. The little spiders have them. How has the war within reception been by the community? been away from the wow content for some time now just curious i think quite good i think i think on the whole quite quite happy well received which is um always good to get back to back with another well received expansion like dragonflight went over quite well too on the whole so it's nice when the when they can break the alternating flop curse or at least you know publicly perceived flop curse i like them all but i'm i'm easy usually love and war within most fun i've been having in wow personally I laugh every time I see a dachshund dog with a hot dog costume. <laughs> I mainly laugh just when I see them in general. They're so funny with their teeny tiny little legs. Stubby little thumbs under a sausage body. They're sweet. I mean, all dogs are. I, I love all the donkeys, but... Moose has a couple of corgi friends, but I don't think he's really befriended a dachshund yet. He's got a couple chihuahua friends. Well, actually, mostly they're chihuahuas that he knows that he says hi to, and then they go, I don't know, they're usually, they're quite old, um, and a bit cranky, which is respectable. There's one benefit to getting old, is that you're really allowed to be cranky. Dragonflight was pretty fun for me personally. Didn't get to see it through, though. 
Yeah, I liked it well enough. It was, it was good. I liked the professions a lot. Actually, I had a lot of fun with crafting and making golden dragon clay. Chihuahuas are just cranky all the time. There must be puppies that are like, Chihuahua and Chihuahua mix puppies that are like, happy puppy energy, but just in like a fist-sized bundle. It must be a thing. <laughs> Doing weeklies? Yeah, getting my Hello Fall stuff uh, cleaned up and sorted out here. The sacred flame provides. Hose it down. Bane the, the barrel activated. Oh, that's right, that's right. My pup never acknowledged little dogs as fellow dogs. He saw them more like squirrels. How old do I need to be to get cranky? Oh, you're, uh, you're good. <laughs> you're set. <laughs> Mixed all the war within. Like war bands, being able to collect everything. Shadowlands and BFA raids to farm is kind of cool. Kitty cat. It should be nice and warm in here now. Have a nice nap, honey. Did meet a very sweet chihuahua, to be fair. <laughs> Mom has a chihuahua dachshund mix, and she's absolutely bonkers. When I was looking at dogs before I got Moose, and I was looking at all the different, like, uh, shelters and rescues and adoption profiles and everything, there was one dog that was a chihuahua mix. I don't know a chihuahua mixed with what, but, like, something small. And it was like a, a puppy. It was like six to eight months old. I forget its name, but I just thought, wouldn't it be so funny <laughs> for me to just have like a little, like a little dog? I feel like I feel like it would be great, you know. Like I would treat it just like a big dog, um, you know, basically just do dog things and <laughs> dog training and whatnot. Um, but it's just, I've always seen myself, I know I've in the past had smaller dogs, but I've always seen myself as a big dog kind of person. When I was a teenager, I was quite um, unfairly prejudiced against small dogs. I didn't see them as valid, which is unreasonable. And also, like, who asked me? <laughs> but um, I always just kind of, like, idolized, like, a great big dog, you know, because that was what I had. And that, those were the dogs that I knew and loved growing up were all great big dogs. And it would just be so funny for me to randomly just have, like, a little pipsqueak of a, of a dog. The pictures were of it just, like, snoozing in laundry and stuff. Um, I, uh, I hope it found a, I hope it found a really nice home. <laughs> Get off my garrison log. Love the dog when you see it at a distance and you wonder if it's actually a bear. Yeah. Newfies are really good for that. They're not the only ones, but Newfies are really good for that. Hmm. <sighs> My little dog thinks he's ten feet tall. It's hysterical. <laughs> In the light of Belladar, coins mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, level twenty-three. Flying mount unlocked. Belladar's attunement unlocked. Hell, hold, hold the phone. <laughs> Actually, um, I don't know if I can solo it. I think I can't, but maybe other people will come by. Cause I can get more fishies to feed him. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be I don't know how many it takes. Like five, ten, by ten. Space Cowboy, thank you very much for the two-month resub. Small dogs can be cute, but usually they're evil incarnate. One of the theories is that some people that get small dogs, not everybody certainly, but there are some people that get small dogs that think that because they can physically manage their dog, you know, you can just kind of pick it up and move it away from whatever it is you don't want it to do, they don't really bother training them as much um, because they're so easily managed without it. Whereas with a big dog, if you don't train it, it's going to ruin your life. So you end up with small dogs that are um, maybe a little lacking in the in the the manners training. And then the other thing is that sometimes they end up badly socialized if they don't get introduced to enough dogs because that can happen for lots of reasons. But uh, I need to I need to fight this. For <laughs> sure. I'm not sure that one's in good faith. We're just going to get rid of that. <sighs> Intruder alert. All right, well, that's one of the two rares that we need to do. I loathe these treasures that are only visible with a torch, because even when you use a torch, and I carry around like a bunch of them, even when you use a torch, I feel like their actual location's a little fuzzy, and sometimes they're not there. And it just feels like a huge waste of time to look for them, but I want them off my map, but they always come back onto the map, so, like, what's the point? <laughs> what are we accomplishing here? Also, this is gonna hurt. This is a triple pull. Hmm. 
I think I'm in my, my AOE Archon. Yeah, Archon's back. That's the stuff. Hey. Uh, let's do this one. This one's nice and easy. Love the pet battle area of the event. Nice to have Squirt and the Master Tamer switching around. Finally, doing awfully big adventure that way. Nice. I didn't even think of that. That's a great idea. Oh, I forgot I was getting um I was getting fish so I could summon the frog. Didn't didn't really follow through. I was just talking recently about how I don't know how important it is for me to have the new Brutosaur with the on-demand mailbox, because while it's true that my mailbox toys have cooldowns, I almost never find myself needing them when they are on cooldown. Like typically, um, I don't need them more than once every, what is it, three hours? Um, especially because the cooldown's individual per alt, so on the same character, I don't usually need to summon a mailbox twice within a three-hour span. However, <laughs> I said that this morning, and now all of a sudden I'm like, mm, I don't remember where the nearest mailbox is around here. I don't know what we're looking. Strange eggs. Oh, there we are. web of manipulation. So I guess when they turn green, that's when they're finished, actually. I thought they disappeared from the list when they were finished, but I suppose they're just turning green. Must be a mailbox over over here somewhere. Feel the warmth of the sacred place. If I had the OG Bruto, would care less. Unless I knew I could easily make the gold for it. OG Bruto is cuter. I think so, too. It, it's a little bit more natural colored. But, we'll see. I think I'm either getting it with tokens or not at all. I don't I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna pay that much actual money for it. The lash rooms choke the Uh do you hear about the streamer pulling out the new Bruto during a PvP match and buying bandages? <laughs> I didn't hear that. That is hilarious though. <laughs> That's pretty good. The OG Brood of Vendors are grating and annoying? You take that back! <laughs> How dare you talk about my Tortolans like that! Come back with some better stories. <laughs> what WoW race is the most dateable to you? You can't pick human. Dateable. Dating. Um, can we pick Kul'Tiran humans? <laughs> Is that cheating? Not everything in the ocean is as good-looking and nice-mannered as I am. I've always liked that he's never in a hurry to say that line. He takes his time spitting that whole sentence out. Tertullin was an allied race. I'd never play anything else. In a hypothetical world where you weren't a WoW content creator, do you think you would still play through each expansion? Uh, I don't know. Um, I've never really taken a break from WoW, and I've never really felt a need to. I've definitely, over the last couple of years, felt my relationship with the game changing a little bit, where I still enjoy it, and I still play it all the time, but it, I don't feel like I need it in the same way that I did when I was younger. Um, so if something didn't look like appealing to me, or if I didn't have the right people to play, I would maybe start to think about sitting it out. But because I have a perfectly good reason to play, I'm happy here. It seems fun. It's good. Ooh, only taking one break from well, late cat. It was a rough time in well. Because Barnacles is the goat, I will allow it. Yeah. I think after humans, elves are probably the most humanoid adjacent uh, race that I can think of. Varying types of elves. Because they're, they're basically just taller and more ripped humans with 
pointy ears. Drenai lose me because of the legs going backwards and the hooves. We've those they've kind of lost me on account of the knee thing. Undead lose me on account of the smell. Um, <laughs> I uh, I need I, I I need my uh, I need my dates to smell nice, and uh, I'm not huge on rotting flesh. It's not my favorite. Hooves is an automatic nope for me. I date a troll. They never wear shoes. They like can't. They go barefoot everywhere. Their feet might get muddy. <laughs> World soul suck. <laughs> I don't know why the unique physique of the Drenai is one reason I think they're so cool. Yeah, I, I like them a lot too. It bothers me a little bit that the female Drenai have such severe anterior pelvic tilt when the male Drenai don't. It's, it's fine if it's anatomically part of the race, and it's fine for there to be some dimorphism, but it's like, <laughs> it's like pretty egregious. <laughs> But also data troll. <sighs> it's funny to me that that bothers me more than the tail. <laughs> it's the spine, not the tail. Surprisingly hard time connecting to my Zandalari paladin, which I wasn't expecting. Hmm. Female Drenai are so tiny compared to the whole units of the males. Yeah. What is it that I'm doing over here? Am I still doing fungal enemies? I am. I'm doing it in the slowest possible way, too. You want to be, like, using the scythe to cleave down all the little guys. That's what you want to do. Um, you do not want to be single targeting down the, the bigger ones. It's a terrible idea. There we go. Yeah, Zandalari are harder for me to get into than regular trolls. And I don't know if it's because they're huge. Um, or what the deal is, but yeah, I, I've had that same issue with them. They've got cool racials and stuff, but I would usually just rather play a, a Dark Spear Troll, especially because Dark Spear Trolls got such amazing customizations last time that I went in and added stuff. Um, I'm gonna try out the PTR. I don't have plans to right now. Um, it's a good idea. I'm not really making a ton of content outside of stream for the moment, so I'm not gonna make any promises. Dark spear male backs really bother. Yeah. Speaking of uh, speaking of spinal issues and, and dimorphism, there's another one where the ladies stand up perfectly straight and the males have got some big uh, big kyphosis energy going on. <sighs> it's just because they want to pick stuff up on the ground and they're um, you know <laughs> they're just they keep dropping their keys. Yeah. My favorite models, proportions-wise, in the game are probably female humans. Because I feel like they look really good in a way that they're, like, very strong and very balanced. Um, and not super pinched or stretched or anything. I find the Blood Elf, Void Elf female model to be a little... It reminds me of um, how insects have, like, these little pinchy, knobbly joints. Um, they're so tiny and, and and snatched, basically, that they're, uh, they remind me of bugs. Um, it just kind of freaks me out a little bit. Night Elves for me, posture of humans for some reason looks odd to me. Mm. Glad they fixed the orc hunch. Yeah, me too. At least it's an option. Um, rare creatures, the cave. We go to the cave. Also, there must be... Eh, I'll actually um, just go... I pick. I, I bought some stuff on the auction house I want to get from the mail. I can stop by. If there's a candy bucket here, there must be a mailbox as well. I will always love the female night elf model the most. 
Got a female blood elf pally in the booth are gigantic. Big stompers. There's the mailbox. Some of my files are selling this morning. That's nice. <laughs> I was getting a little worried. Once we're done all these dailies, I'll open all the boxes at once. Um, all of these lamplighter supply satchels to see if today is our lucky day. Cat-wise. Yeah. I like the female human model. Male humans, um, I find, are a little... Goofy looking to me on account of them being very thick in a boxy way. I think it's the neck that does it for me. They have necks bigger than my thighs. Um, <laughs> it's, and like, I'm there's nothing wrong with that. Power to you, but it's uh, they 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 just they look like Warcraft humans, um, and not like human beings. I'm going to activate this rare and then I'm going to die to it. Good? Good. Obviously the best race is undead. I want to make another undead alt because clearly none of my like 27 alts are good enough for me and I need to make brand new ones. Kind of feel the slowdown of raid supplies. I'm selling profession files. But yeah, uh, raid supplies dropping off a little bit for sure. People starting to retire for the patch. How much damage does he do? He's not that dangerous, right? If I watch my feet. Cause I, I can I can fight him for a while. Yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Human males in WoW feel like they should come with batteries not included. See invis items? Don't think people actually buy those? Ooh, uh, uh, true sight files are super popular. I make those on purpose because they're easy to sell and people buy them. Also, I just got a transmog appearance. Marsh Hopper's followers. Cool. Uh, we have a bonus objective over here so we can do some stuff in the bog. Let's uh, upset some bullfrogs here. Made a ton from fishing sharks. If undead take showers, so they still smell? I would think so. You're you're decaying. I mean, they must not be actively decaying because otherwise they would eventually just be skeletons. But uh, they're always joking about bits falling off and getting stitched back on. I don't know if you've ever walked past like a really big piece of roadkill while it's been rotting, <laughs> but it's really, really, really gross. I've told this story before, but when I was walking to school as a teenager, there was a deer that had been hit and then kind of moved into the ditch. And it stayed there um, through its entire decomp process. And it was a pretty big deer. And my walk to school took me right by it, which was fascinating because you could see the different stages of decomp, but it was disgusting because you could smell it for like, uh, it wasn't really a blocks kind of situation. This is kind of out in the country, but uh, you could smell it from a long ways away and for a long ways after. It was not realistic to hold your breath and get by it unless you were going to hold your breath and run. Um, it stopped smelling in the winter when it froze, but then it started smelling again in the spring when it thawed. <laughs> um, and that's what I think of when I think of what a Forsaken would actually smell like. <sighs> Arthur, thank you very much for the 29 month Risa of Morning Hazel. Love your hoodie. Oh, I thank you. It's a whole onesie. It goes all the way down to the to the. I was gonna say the feet, but it doesn't cover my feet. It just goes down to the legs. It's comfy. I'm a murloc for Halloween. Back when I used to live in my home country, barely saw it. Now I live in the U.S. So many dead animals. I haven't seen that many things around here, and I don't know if it's because, like, people or the city tends to clean things up as they die, or if it's just the animals around here um, that kind of... <laughs> there's there's so much wildlife that they, they kind of clean up after themselves. You'll find the occasional dead bird, but that's about it. Um... Mm 
I got some buff food to drop that's like key flame specific buff food, so I may as well eat it. It's gonna give me water walking and movement speed around here, which would be kind of nice. 15% movement speed. What's your favorite game besides WoW? Hmm. Um, if I had to pick like an all time, it might be Stardew Valley. I love that very, very much. But in terms of what I'm actually playing a lot of right now outside of WoW, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, specifically. I don't mess with regular Hearthstone, but, but I go pretty big on the, um, on the auto battler version. And then I don't play continuously because you do kind of run out of stuff to do eventually, but I like Animal Crossing a lot as well. And I've done, I've done, uh, New Horizons quite a bit. I have quite a few hours in that. <laughs> but yeah, those are kind of the big three for me for, for comfy games that I actually want to play and not games that I feel like I should play. <laughs> We're like, oh man, people want to do this and that. Let's let's log on and do it. Mm -hmm. Alright. We can turn in Defender of the Flame. Actually, let's go do the glow in the dark thing first. The creatures in the dark use fear to hunt the Arathi. No longer. You have emboldened lamplighter and farmer alike. So. There we go. Happy Halloween, Hazel. Hope you're well. Happy Halloween! I haven't seen anybody in costume yet, but it was very early when I went out, so maybe later. <laughs> I'm gonna have a really cozy day today. Uh, I've heard of Spiritfarer. I've heard of it. Or at least the name rings a bell. Oh yeah, we need to loot a bunch of these. Just got Arvis. Congratulations, Scarlet! That's amazing! He's so cute. He's such a cute pet. Oh, there's our, there's a... There's our boy. Carry your torch and light the city. Hmm. Let me pull mine out. We can match. As I'm getting older, trying to reconcile what gaming means to me. I th yeah, I think my, your relationship with it can... It isn't always, but it can change as you get older and you go through like different life phases and events and stuff. I used to game for escapism. And I used to game for identity. I identified as this is, this is my hobby. These are my people. This is what people like me do. Um, and then also, <laughs> they're fun, and they're engaging, and uh, when you're trying really hard to get out of your head and away from your feelings, it's useful in a kind of a maladaptive sort of way to game a lot. Um, it's a coping mechanism that is um, fine <laughs> sometimes, but maybe a little unhealthy when overdone. And as I've gotten older, I've kind of relaxed my ideas about what identity means to me, and I don't feel the need to kind of fit into any particular thing anymore, so I don't really need it for that reason. And I've, I've learned some better coping strategies, so I don't really need it for escaping anymore either. And then when you strip both of those things away, what I have left is my social group. Um, I like playing games and like Keys and Raid um, specifically to do things with my friends. I like doing Mythic Plus with my Mythic Plus group and, and hanging out with my friends in dungeons and stuff. I like playing Hearthstone duos with Flabby. Uh, we do that a lot. That's really good. <sighs> um, and then, yeah, sometimes it's nice to, <laughs> to put something on and relax, but I have other things that are also fun for relaxing, too, that sometimes also accomplish other needs, like getting me outside or getting me exercise or getting me to socialize with people in person, so it's kind of taking a lower slot in my life than it used to. Man, I think 
it's normal and healthy to kind of like think about it every now and then. If it feels worth thinking about. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Have you seen my cake yet? She's having a nice nap. Oh, she's not napping. She's she's cozy, but she's not napping. She's grooming. She's having a nice bath. Yeah, there you go. Baby girl. Mm. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. My goods are the pride of the Empire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use in the Empire's defense. It is useful to know how to play popular and common games if you're trying to meet people. Um, especially if, like, <laughs> you know, you go to a new place... And if you can go to like a like a local game shop magic night or like join a D and D group or something, if you know how to play those games, even if you don't like the games that much, it could just be a good way to meet people um, and kind of get out of your box a little bit and say hi to somebody that's not just the grocery store cashier. <laughs> They're also great to say hi to, but if it's the only person in your life you ever say a word to, sometimes it gets a little bit of uh, a, a little depressing. <sighs> Unfortunately, in the case of magic cards, it's also kind of an expensive hobby to get into. <laughs> Blows my mind to this day how many RL friends I've met via WoW. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's always fun to, to get to meet people that you've been gaming with for years. Uh, what am I doing? What is this objective? Shadowed Gloom Renders Slain. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. They're on the pathways. Often. They're often on the pathways. And we have to reveal them. I don't remember it being this hard. There's one. I don't know if this harvest pot's gonna do me any good, but I've unlocked the ability to repair it, and by golly, I'm gonna have it help. Uh, have you seen the Netflix doc about Evelyn? I have not. I added it to my list. I don't know if or when I'll ever be ready to watch it, though. I'm sure it's amazing. Um, I'm I'm emotional enough. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need anything else to cry about. I just like to carpet bomb the whole area. Yeah. Never met someone I gamed with before, but did recently. It was really great. Wish I was more prepared. Yeah. Didn't want to cry, had no choice. Okay. Sometimes it's healthy to have a good cry. <laughs> you know, let it out. It's not doing you any good holding it in. Watched it twice, it's emotional, cried, happy crying, so, so well done. Some people have, like, go-to sad movies that they use to help, like, emotionally unblock themselves when they need to have a good cry, but they, like, can't quite access it. I've, I've known people before that had, like, movies that they specifically kept on hand because they knew it would make them cry. And once you're crying about, like, one thing, you can kind of channel the rest of your feelings about anything else through that episode. <laughs> but, like, sometimes you just need to watch the Titanic or whatever it is to, like, get yourself going. I do that. I feel like an earthworm. That cat's so flexible. They can just, you can just put her leg behind her head. <laughs> I cannot put my leg behind my head. <laughs> I don't think. I'm not, I'm not keen to try in a hurry. <sighs> When I'm sad, I watch Clueless. I've watched it like 44 times now. I don't like sad movies when I'm sad. For a moment, I was like misunderstanding and I thought Clueless was your sad movie. And I'm like, wait, I saw that one. Isn't that one fun? <laughs> and then I caught up with what you actually meant. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the sad part of Clueless is. I 
is this is a, a tough one. This one takes a long time. Kind of sad when she dumps her driving exam, maybe, but that's a stretch. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan. I watched it once, and I watched it pretty recently. And uh, the ending kind of makes, gives me some, the ick a little bit. I'd like to say it was a different time, but it wasn't that long ago. Uh, CL21, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. But um, I'm not. I'm not the ick police. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, you know, uh, make look down on anybody for enjoying it. It's a cute movie. Yeah, a little incesty, and uh, I don't. I don't love the <laughs> college-aged person coming back and uh, and macking on their their 16-year-old stepsister. Like that's. That's just crazy. Um, last movie that brought out tears is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Tried watching it recently, couldn't get through it, even though I liked it as a teenager. I used to cry during the Phantom of the Opera, which is funny because that's not really that sad. Um, it, I guess it's a, like a little sad, <laughs> but it's mainly cheesy. It's mainly very cheesy. <laughs> but like a 12, 13 year old me thought that was the pinnacle of storytelling. We just need- I was gonna say, we just need one more of these guys, but it's not true. We need four of them. We're only just barely over halfway done. I think I lost the people that were helping. Oh, there we go. There's two. Hi, Hazel. How are you? Hi, Scarlet. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm doing a little better today so far. What, now what do you think is the pinnacle of storytelling? Ooh. Pinnacle of storytelling. I mean, I have a goldfish brain. I can only think of the things that I'm, like, currently reading. <laughs> oh, I was farming them out. Yeah, I want to do all the weeklies for, for rep and for, for chances of the mount. I don't have the, the links yet. Ash getting between Mewtwo and Mew and Pikachu trying to bring him back. I remember that, actually. <laughs> I thought that was very emotional when I watched it the first time. I remember being like, <gasps> Almost Captain Halival from the 30% rep buff. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I gotta make sure I don't run out of, uh... I've been here for almost an hour doing these weeklies. I gotta make sure I don't run out of, uh... Wicker Man buff here. There's another one. Last one. 102 tries. Hope I get it soon. Maybe, maybe the next, next, next one's your, your one. I want Shadow Mint back. Kind of forgot about Shadow Mint. I must not want it back. <laughs> the creatures in the dark use fear to hunt the Arathi. I feel like I remember feeling like it was cool that it was themed to be shadowy, but I didn't need it to hurt me or anybody else. Like, and it mainly didn't hurt me. I didn't really fully understand the the bite back mechanic on Shadow Men because it was inconsistent based on how you had it talented and who you were casting it on. And in all the years that I had it made a Shadow Priest, I never really came to grips with when it was going to break break something. So I'm kind of happy just to have regular heal. <laughs> Uh, did you hear about the Nintendo leaks and the Pokemon human crossbreeding story they were pushing for? I did not. Um, bananas, if true. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and not believe that. Not because I don't think it's believable, but because I don't want to believe that. So I'm just gonna live the rest of my life and assume that never happened. And nobody ever wanted that. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, dirt. We can do the dirt. 
We can go dig up some worms. For sure, don't miss it. Regular heal, don't need brain power. Also, I can put on my mitts. See if that big uh, dirt pile is over here. I don't actually see the big dirt pile. It's usually like, oh no, I do. There it is. I don't know why this um, world quest said it only had like a minute left. I wonder if it's just because the keyflame's about to exit. And that's probably what the timer is. Wait until Darkwing Fairy, you get 40%. Oh. Clever. Can't believe it's November tomorrow. That's gross. No thank you. <laughs> I don't want that. <sighs> Good goodness, goodness gracious, golly gee. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Untrue. I feel like either November or February. Maybe January. But November or February have to be tied for my least favorite months because they're very cold and they're very dark and not much happens in them. Um, November in particular, we don't have Thanksgiving in November here because we had our Thanksgiving in October and Christmas isn't until December. Um, and I don't even know somebody with a November birthday. So there's like nothing going on. <laughs> there's nothing going on. It's just dark. It's just cold. It's just rainy and sometimes icy. Um, it is the grimmest of the months, I think. Cause at least in December you have Christmas time and that's pretty. Um, shout out to whoever thought that up. That's, that's a good idea. Get some bright lights and shiny stuff going on. <laughs> but then, um, uh, what else? Yeah, February at least has Valentine's Day. It's not my favorite holiday, but I don't know. My partner's really cute. We usually do something. Sometimes he gets me like flowers or chocolate or both. I mean, that's very nice of him. January and February are the bad ones. And then January has, I guess, New Year's, although that's kind of also December. Jan you know what January has? Is January has New Year's resolutions. I love lying to myself for a month every year that I'm going to change. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to do. Oh, man. I want November because it means taking a road trip to Disneyland. You know what November used to have? Is November used to have BlizzCon. That used to actually be a little bit of a bright point <laughs> in this grim month that we're about to do here. January sucks, except for my son's birthday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once we get to March, it starts. I start seeing some signs of spring. And even if the weather's still awful and it's still super dark, as long as there's just like a creeping little hint of like a like buds on the trees and like plants coming up, I'm happy. I just need the hope of spring. A mini BlizzCon online event still. We are, but I, I'd be lying if I said I was excited about it. Um, it just sounds like a press release. I don't think there's anything they can tell me that will make me feel anything. <laughs> and that's not their fault. That's just me and where I'm at in my life. But like, oh man. BlizzCon's the best. I hope they bring it back. Sanguinette, thank you for the 19 month reason. <sighs> BlizzCon used to be fun because of, like, the community feeling of it. Like, the, you know, Blizzard, the, the, the announcements were cool. And the announcements kind of formed, like, the fodder of what you would talk about with other people at BlizzCon. Be like, oh, man, what do you think of this thing? And people go, yeah, that looks really cool. Um, I have my gloves. Oh, maybe I need to leave the area and come back. Uh, Jay's gone. Let's thank you for the two-month Lisa. Blizzard's fault in my case. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't help. I don't know what they gave us the reason. Um, the, the prevailing theory, I think, goes that something to do with the act or the Microsoft acquisition um, just kind of did it in. Honestly, I think that when they, when they merged and they did all those layoffs, I think they just canned um, or reassigned or whatever it is. I think they just got rid of the BlizzCon organizing positions. Because that was a, a year-long job, as far as I know. It used to take an entire year for some people to organize and get BlizzCon put together. 
Um, and I don't think those positions exist anymore. I'm, I could be wrong. I'm just guessing and half remembering. This is the worst information ever. Don't believe me. But uh, that was my impression. Or my imagination. Weird dream I had after eating some cheese, you know. I've always been, I'll never find out, and I'm not that curious, but I've always been a little curious about the financials of the event and whether or not it's actually profitable from a ticket sales standpoint. Like tickets and online ticket sales. If you don't account for all the advertising, which is very valuable, and they do a lot of it, and it gets a lot of attention. If you don't account for the advertising and you just account for putting on the event weight against the ticket sales, I've always wondered if that comes out positive or negative because big events like that are extremely expensive to put on. But virtual ticket sales, I feel like give them an edge because that's infinitely scalable. You can sell as many of those as you want. Um, there's no cap to those. It's not like the, the convention capacity problem that you would have with, you can only sell so many actual convention tickets. I'm summoning this rare because I think it dropped something that I want. Or maybe it's just because I know how. <laughs> also, I have found an unusual potato. There's a Discworld novel where the printing press is invented and uh, some people start a newspaper in Ankhmapork. And some of the earliest articles that they end up running are just different people bringing in vaguely... Um, suggestive looking vegetables <laughs> and they don't have anything else to print so they print it and then they just get people coming to the newspaper office with like funny looking turnips and p potatoes and stuff being like this will make a great story vaguely suggestive looking vegetation mm -hmm. it's been harder lately to ignore the hyper commercialization of games and I could just be more jaded I've also been feeling that, and you're definitely, we're not the only ones. Um, it's, the veneer's wearing a little thin. They've always been businesses. Um, they've always been corporations. That's not a secret. But they like to put on this, it's, it, it suits them, and it, it benefits them to put on this, like, we're all in this together, guys. We're gamers making games for gamers. And I'm sure the people that work in the game are gamers and do care. I don't think there's no passion left in it. But you can tell that a lot of the things that they do, monetization-wise, are directives from people that are very much focused on the money side of it. Which makes sense, it's a company, but yeah, it's... <laughs> the, uh, the illusion is, is wearing a little thinner than it used to, and maybe we're just getting older and more cynical. And maybe they're just getting more and more <laughs> um, egregious. Hey look, I found Parasidious. Popter Bot, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. It's good in the sense that when you've broken that, like, passionate <laughs> fan connection where you want to support something no matter what just because you love the thing, and you've kind of had, like, the, the fog steamed off of your glasses, and you're like, oh, hey, it's a company that's really mainly trying to just take my money. It doesn't actually care about me or the thing as long as it's making the money. You can then make more informed and less emotional decisions about which things actually are worth your money to you and whether or not something actually looks fun and worthwhile to play or if they're just cashing on this IP that they know that you love. Um, it's a little easier to see through that when you have gotten a little bit jaded. Yeah, there's a $90 cash shop mount and it's got very strong utility on it. It's got an auctioneer and a mailbox on it. Um, and it's only available until January the something or another, so they're kind of really pushing all the buttons with that one. Growing up, having that understanding is no fun. Yeah, it makes things a little less magical. I remember when I was a kid, and even a teenager and a young adult, I loved Disney properties. And I loved Disney World. I went a couple times as a little kid, and I went again um, as a teenager with my mom. And everything about it was just so magical and so special to me. And I really love those memories. But then when I went back there again, after I'd kind of become a little more, <laughs> a little more jaded and a little more cynical about it, um, I'm, uh, 
you know, I'll, I'll, I still treasure the memories that I have, but Blizz or Disney, Disney properties in Disneyland and the parks don't hold that same magic for me anymore. It just feels too corporate to me. And that's fine. It's not a problem. I'm not trying to take it away from anybody else. It's just uh, a bit sad to realize that that's kind of no longer top of your list of things to do. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, the, the the wax thing. We finished our wax thing. Did I finish everything? Yes, I did all of my quests. So I am now good to open all of my lamplighter satchels. I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them available. Helps to think about the non-executives who are making the game with passion because they want to. You can feel that in the War Within. Yeah. I can't imagine what it's like working for the game and trying to balance your passion for the game, your uh, desire to do a good job and do good work for your company, and also feel like maybe sometimes your work is... its I mean, it's the point of the, the structure, but like, I wonder if it ever feels a little gross if you feel like they're, they're taking advantage of all this passion that you put into it so they can just chill $100 mounts um, and, you know, print, print money for the yachts, etc. Okay, is there a mount? We shall find out. Drum roll, please. I'm just gonna open them all. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Where's my rarity? Do I not have a rarity turned on? It should be counting, tracking my attempts here. Yeah, turned off somehow. <laughs> Disney's a line waiting simulator. <laughs> solution is indie games, but then again, they don't have. Wow. Why is it... Why was it talking to me about Marrow Fang's reigns? Oh, maybe that was just catching up on attempts that I'd done. It had tracked some necrotic wake fights. I've definitely done more than 65 attempts at this length. It does not want to drop for me. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? <sighs> I'm gonna go turn in the weekly the the wax weekly get my tokens and that should um get me that 100 token achievement which it will be kind of nice what about the um this one that one's not going to give me any tokens this time but i should still do it for rep i wonder if i can just slam it out like kind of fast i'm gonna get myself on a flight path I think we're going to go... Is there no flight path here? Oh, there is. It's over here. I'm going to get myself on a flight path and take a bit of a break here. So, 10.30, halfway. No, no, not to fight the darkness. Oh, oh, oh. Pardon me. <laughs> this one. This one. Flight Master. There we go. Um, looks like there's a couple of world quests that we can... There's not that many world quests that we can do. Maybe I'll worry about that later. Let's go up to turn this one in instead. And we'll be right back. Turn in our wax weekly. <laughs> Slow, please. I'm muted. Well, not anymore. I was muted for a second. I was just saying Kitty was slow blinking at me. <sighs> I love her. There we go. Turn that in. What do you want? What do you have for me? Really big candle. Crests, sure, fine. Ooh, a thousand gold for the candle. You know. It's a thousand gold you get to keep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't ask where I got it. Don't ask where I got it. There we go. I'm a token collector. I did it. <laughs> uh, so now we can get tokens from repeatable 20th anniversary activities. It's just so strange that they don't do that right away. I don't know why they made you unlock that. Whatever, you know. Not, not my problem anymore. We did it. Let's get rid of some stuff here. Stuff from Raid. I wonder if I got all my enchanting knowledge. Maybe, maybe not. Might need another dirt treasure. Huzzah. I want to go check that out and see what it... 
See what it looks like, see what it means tokens-wise. Also, I'm sure I have some tokens to spend. There must be a big list somewhere of all the different things you can get for tokens. I know you can get those tier 2 redone sets. There must be other stuff as well. I also think maybe I should go try, I don't know if I can, but I should try to finish my uh, my Ajkahet weekly while I have this uh, triple rep buff going. That might be kind of nice. Uh, repeating the main story quest will not give you any extra rep on your alts. The rep bonus from doing a quest is a once per warband bonus, so you don't need to, you don't need to repeat them. It is good to do all of the quests, the main and the side quests, there's rep from those. But once you've done them once, you do not need to do them again. Uh, tier 2 sets, sword, hood, shield, maw. Yeah. Betcha all the things has a list for me if I mouse over the thingy. So I need 865. I wonder if that math is not accounting for the discount that you get on the remaining sets once you bought a couple sets. <laughs> Um, but even if even if it does, they're dropping a little. They buffed them anyways. They didn't used to drop in these kind of quantities, and they're a little better now. Eight hundred sixty-five. So yeah, there's a couple toys. Wait a second. I can get a baby blizzard bear. That's necessary. That's happening immediately. <laughs> That's very important. <laughs> I've always wanted a baby blizzard bear, and I've never had one. Can we check for rares? That's an Icker spell. We don't like the Die Works quest, but we'll do it if we have to. Bought six sets so far. Tokens are really easy to come by now. Nice. Nothing to spend them on except for converting to time walking tokens at a low rate. It's the first thing that I bought. One of my favorite pets. I must have known. They must have shown it in that video that I watched. The announcement video. I must have known they were going to offer that. But I suppose I forgot. The silk in the war is from what I remember, this quest is a bit sucky because of the spawn rate on it. It's just the mobs don't seem to come up enough. Different time passes. There might be a trick. There might be a trick to it. Oh. Yeah, we want, we want little packs of them. Maybe they improved it. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do go back and fix some of the pain point world quests. I don't, it, this one's a bit of a bummer. It's going to give me Valor Stones that I don't need. I'm fully capped in Valor Stones. Um, until I do more Gilded, I mean, I guess I could send a couple upgrades with the Gilded Crest that I have, but I'm uh, pretty overdosed in, on Valor Stones for the moment. Okay, maybe I should just stop pulling things before I die. Always carry health potions. That's the takeaway here. Wow, I thought this was going to be horrible. It's much better now. Maybe I'm mistaking it for some other quest. Must be. The Empire runs on silk, as they say. They'll have a much harder right, well, that's that one done. What else we got world quest wise? That's a delve. That's a regular quest. I don't know if that'll give any credit. I mean, we could do rumors and treasures and stuff. That will also do something. I just sometimes I get a bit um sometimes I get a bit lost with the rumors. Like I forget what they want me to do. Give me some credit. That gave me ten percent. Happy about that. Three more of those, and we're we're juicy. I don't know if juicy was the right word there. All right, Halloween topic, seasonal discussion. What is your favorite Halloween treat or candy? Doesn't have to be candy, but that is traditional. Um, I know some people also like cookies. If you're like a monster, you could say like a fruit. <laughs> I used to like, when I was a little kid, I liked the caramilks a lot. And then when I got older, they started to uh, taste less good to me and also hurt my tongue. Kit Kats have something to be said for them. Those were pretty good. 
PB Snickers. Ooh, Reese's peanut butter cups actually. Those are those are kind of a kind of a good one. Those those hold up, I feel like, for me. You're my favorite no longer. Bounty FTW. Like the paper towels? It can't be the paper towels. <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't do that to me. Uh Reese's as well. Oh. Reese's peanut butter cup. I remember once when I bought like the extra deep ones and I thought, you know what? That's worth it. <laughs> that was a good idea. But I do love paper towels. Coconut chocolate bar. Gotcha. 100 grand bars. Peppermint patties. It's not a Halloween candy, but I used to like after eights. Anything mint and chocolate is a good deal usually. I um I recently picked up mint Oreos again. And they taste nice, but they I can't I can't eat Oreos anymore, man. <laughs> they just mess me up. It's not worth it. Maybe if I have them in the middle of the day. I don't know. There we go. That puts us to 80%. Mint Milanos are my real good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe if I try making cookies myself, maybe those will go down better. Milk chocolate for many Hershey's brand candy is also so bad. Yeah, the 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 cheap milk chocolates used to appeal to me a lot, and they don't anymore. Swollen Cobus eyes. I guess it's just one of the one of the prices of a. Uh, Growing up, <laughs> it's your palate changes. I that or you just you get a taste of the good stuff and then you're spoiled, spoiled for life. I'm very sleepy. Maybe later, Kitty wants to come take a nap. swollen eyeballs. That's horrible. What was the least favorite thing to get, like, when you were trick-or-treating? In terms of candy, anyways. Because I know some people would give you, like, toothpaste and that was just, uh, a little too preachy for <laughs> child me. And adult me, you know. Like, I'm all about toothpaste. But there's a time and a place. Raisins, black liquor. Did I ever get raisins? Chocolate covered raisins are pretty good. Not as good as chocolate covered almonds, but... Can't play a long multiplayer game today because I'd feel really anxious if Trick or Treaters knocked and I didn't answer. You're on, uh, you're on duty. You're on candy duty. Have the same Rolex ones. You should wear it tonight. They're nice and warm. They're perfect for Halloween. Good for October weather. I guess I don't know. You could live somewhere warm. There are plenty of people that are having, like, <laughs> summer weather still. Either expectedly or otherwise. There we go. There's some cash and we're at 90%. Oldest Halloween memories is going to the hospital to get our bags x-rayed. Late 80s, early 90s were a wild time. X-rayed. <laughs> I guess the implication is that perhaps somebody's trying to harm children by hiding needles in the candy, but radiation's fine. <laughs> I don't know if it would. I don't. I. I don't know anything about how X-rays actually work. I don't think it would be a problem. But like, that's just very funny to me. Usually snowing here, and today it's seventy-seven. Ooh. Going trick or treating with my niece tonight. She lives in a nice neighborhood. Excited to see the type of candy they have. I've heard stories of people um, traveling to trick or treat in more affluent neighborhoods because of rumors that they were giving out entire candy bars and not the little mini sizes. I don't know if that's actually like a thing people do or if I ever knew anybody that actually did that, but I've, I've heard of that as a practice. All the razor blades and candy bars, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I remember, I think maybe there's just some, I mean, I'm sure there are, there, there's crazy people everywhere. But it was just, I guess the concept, because you're getting it from strangers, people thought, well, what if they're injecting drugs into it? It's like, well, 
maybe, but most most people that have drugs um, kind of want them for themselves and are not trying to just go around poisoning children. Uh, no, that's my that's my kitty. That is my girl, Kira. She's we've had her for ten years, ten good years, and free drugs. Drugs cost way more than candy. No one likes your kids enough to give them free drugs. Yeah, it's a, it's a, she's in a big bed. I bought these big beds for the big dog, and then Kitty decided that that's for her. Um, yeah. There's a meme of a vape with a sign one hit per kid. I've never heard of that. That's, that's funny. <laughs> oh dear. I need one more thing. You did find free drugs. I mean, that was that was just gardening. <laughs> that was just somebody giving away a plant. I guess it's drugs, but uh, you know, so are lots of things, coffee, etc. I didn't take it. <laughs> I decided not to pursue that. I need one more rumor. Anybody? Any rumors? Hello? Here is one. I think these are working better. Because somebody actually spawns and comes and fights you. It used to be these didn't do anything. Kid, they gave out little Bibles. Oh, man. I've never been particularly saved by anybody uh, handing me free uh, Christian materials. But the, the one thing I do appreciate is that it usually comes from a good place of this is something that they have found very helpful for them and they're trying to share it for for whatever reason, you know. It's not something that you have to engage with. But I've always found it benefits me to just be polite and take whatever they're handing me and say thank you. And, uh, you know, they're it's coming from a good place. It did come with a piece of candy. There you go. Years with the houses giving out... Chick tracks. I don't even know what that means. Uh, they sell items that mark rumors in your map. That sounds like something that's not totally brand new information to me, but I would be lying if I said I knew it. <laughs> I don't know if I did. There we go. We got some nice, nice rep with our general. Um, I can't buy my heritage undercrawler yet. I could visualize the detection radius of guards. And honestly, I have so much cash, I may as well. It's not like we're starving for it. If anybody else is going to sell me something for cash that I need? Uh, this, the Vizier, definitely, I haven't done any work with, so I would only have the most basic stuff unlocked for him. You give away Halloween-themed peeps. I'll be waiting outside your house until next Halloween. I hate peeps with a passion. <laughs> Walking to work at like 6 a.m. and a guy yelled at me about how I was going to hell and wanted to try to save me. Too early for that. Yeah, you gotta wait until after coffee to start. <laughs> start guilting people about that. My goodness. There was a somebody in a in a nun habit walking around the city, um, tapping things with a cane. Not like a like a seeing eye cane, but she had like a staff and she was like tapping uh, trash bins and, um, you know, bus stop signs and stuff. And she told me to have a blessed day, and I thought that was very nice. I felt bad that I couldn't think of anything to say other than thank you. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know if I should hit her with the U2 or what, but she, it, you know, she had a great big smile, and that was nice. Uh, I am going to go to the um, anniversary event, and I've missed the mount top. That's upsetting. Oh, yeah, let's go poke around and see what kind of stuff we can get for our tokens. Maybe we go Stormwind. Six sands too early for any of that. Got the Vizier to rank nine without ever picking him. Nice. I wonder if I should, how actually? I wonder if I, cause I, I would prefer to pick the Weaver, but I do want to get the Vizier done. Is it just general threads rep? On my 168th try, for the Headless Horseman, my brain is melting. Oh man, I wish you the best of luck. 
Is that one of the ones that they changed to be just your first chance per day? Your first try per day has a chance? I got mine before they made any of those changes, so I'm not 100% sure, but... Killing rares, picking them with a weekly once or twice. Okay. Well, what do you mean... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, what do you mean picking him? You just said you didn't pick him, but then I realized you probably mean picking him with one of the other weeklies. That makes sense. I have not done the new Secrets of Azeroth yet. I heard there was a new mount for it. Not a bad thing to look into at some point. I want to do some more trick-or-treating today. Yeah, the rep weekly would be a smart way to do it. I'll probably... You're right, I think next week I'll go back to the Weaver, because I miss her. <laughs> and I want it for gathering speed. Okay, what, can, what kind of stuff can we do around here for tokens? Also, I one, one bear, please. Um, that's the secret thing. He's, he's still just going to give me five badges, but I suppose that's fine. Hey. Lucky guess. What can I do for you? Long live gray I was on a real hot streak with those, and I was starting to think that I did know stuff about this game after all, and then I got like six wrong in a row. What do you want? You want me to do time walking still? I, I must be closer to getting that on Bokoa than I am on this character. Gotta be closer. So she has the tier sets. Come back later for another round he has the bear in the well playing. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have the Anixian well playing. Or the baby blizzard bear. Those are both important and they're both happening. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. That's nice. Picked her once, never going back to anybody else. Yeah, she's just got the best benefits by far. So I could pick out a, a, an armor set as well. This guy's got... Um, stuff that I'm not worried about. Also, it's for Marks of Honor and... We, yeah, we shopped there already. This one has um, some appearances... The, the shields and stuff. I will get those eventually, but I think I'm going to do the sets, the transmog sets first. Same thing with the balloon chest. I'll get it one day, but I'm not in a big hurry. I already got little Doomy, so he's he's good. <laughs> How many pets are you missing? You be careful, mm. man. A handful. Some of this stuff must be actually quite easy that I just still haven't really gotten to. 10,000 undercoins is crazy for this. Yeah, some of these things are not hard. I just haven't done them yet. Bought the Revan pack. Can't type. You're all good. Congratulations. Those ones have probably been bothering you a long time. I guess I'd just written them off. I just assumed I would never get them, so they didn't really bother me because I didn't think it was a possibility, but it's kind of cool to be able to be able to... I mean, this, he's just cute. He's just hes just like a cute, not overdone, not enormous, big plushy looking eyes. He's just a little bear. He's a little, little baby blizzard bear. Go poke Grant over here. Slim is blocked. Oh, oh these are the, the, the pet dailies, that's right. I think I'm gonna pick up an armor set. I should probably be the priest one, right? Just for tradition. <laughs> I am that is my main, I am a priest. How may I aid you? Plus it looks nice enough. I think I'd like to get them all eventually, but I'll definitely pick favorites a little bit. So now the next one will be cheaper. Of any age. 
There's a story coming, but I don't need the story. So yeah, then 40 and then 20 for the rest of them, I think. Just a little guy. Um, am I smart? Welcome, friend. Nope. <laughs> not Clear today, I'm not. <laughs> Besides, this event is going to last a lot longer than Hallow's End, so we ought to, uh, we have to trick-or-treat while we can. Plus, what better day to be tricky-treating on than Halloween? Wake words is busted. Made one that shows my focus target cast bar huge right above my head. When they cast an interruptible spell, and I have my interrupt up. Excited to test that in an actual dungeon. Hmm. You have like a super fast, easy way to set a focus on the fly. It sounds kind of cool. All right, he's tricky treating. He was getting more from lots of places. He has 50 minutes of that buff, seven hours of that buff. Yes, yeah, so he's got all three XP buffs up. And he matches me. We're, we're matching today. <laughs> That's the important thing. Have a keybound? Cool. They made a keybind for it, didn't know that. Still have a macro for it. Mm. That's neat. It's a good idea. He is level 64 and 58%. And I've still got his tricky treating macro all set up. I can show it if anybody's curious. The macro allows him to... Uh, sit, which prevents him from being transformed nefariously. Uh, he says trick or treat because that's very cute. And he uses the handful of treats that he might have had in his bag from the last one if he's got one. So I just press that before I loot the bin and then we're we're good to go. Off and away. Hi kitty, you want back up? I would love to have you back up here. Mer -mer. You gotta jump though, I can't pick you up anymore. Not unless it's really important. Nice key. Nice key. She likes chin rubs usually. That's usually a good spot. You smell like my kitty. She's got a word for her people. <laughs> Gotta say them. I'm gonna have to save a clip of that. I'm gonna wanna watch that one day. <laughs> uh, that's right, we found our, found our thing. We're looking for the next one over this way. I'm happy. She's been really enjoying all of the extra treats and stuff, but then it's making her kind of entitled, which is totally fine. She can have whatever she wants, but it's funny because she'll, I'll give her like a treat, like I give her a lucky treat at the end of the stream yesterday. And, uh, and then she'll have that and be like, hmm, that was pretty good. What else you got? <laughs> she'll like walk around like yelling for a little bit, uh, seeing if that will get her anything before she settles back down again. <laughs> Treats, right? Meow. Yeah. Oh, insane Merlot cosplay. Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, the finest, the finest of effort. 
There's probably some streamers that get that do really good costumes for for Halloween. That's cool. When I was a kid, I was always kind of upset that Halloween wasn't like a everybody gets the day off kind of holiday. I was like, what do you mean I have to go to school first? <laughs> what is this business where the whole day is not just about trick or treating? What do you mean my mom has to work until at, until later? <laughs> you know, like, what's that all about? I want to go now. I, I always wanted to go trick or treating when it was still light enough for people to see my costume. Um, and I never wanted to wear a coat over my costume because that ruined it. <sighs> Schools in Ireland are out the entire week of Halloween. <laughs> when you say treat out loud. We don't actually use treat as like a command or anything for him. We, we we give him lots of treats, but I don't use the actual word to specifically in connection with it for him, I don't think. Uh, did I get all the Winter and Plains ones? I think so. Priorities. I always wanted all kinds of holidays to be days off, like even Valentine's Day. Oh man. Now Valentine's Day has to be a school day, because otherwise how are you supposed to get the little cards with the little candies in them? <laughs> well, hopefully get. I feel like, um... Like our... By the time that I got to school, they they had set up some reasonably equitable Valentine's card and candy distribution, either rules or systems or something. I don't remember exactly how they managed it, but it wasn't just that you would only get them from your friends and then some kids wouldn't get any. Like there was everybody was going to get at least a few, um, which was nice. <laughs> I never liked those um, those Valentine's Day like the little chalky heart candies. But it, it wasn't about, it was, it's just, it was about what it represents, you know. The real trick for Valentine's as a couple is if it's in the budget is to go out for a nice dinner, but don't do it on Valentine's Day unless that date is very important to you because uh, restaurants are chaos on actual Valentine's Day. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that, kitty cat. Try not to sneeze on you here. Uh, for Race and Dam, thank you very much for the 19 month reset. Oh, level 65. Shield charge. So it doesn't replace charge, it's like another one? I don't know what button to put it on. <laughs> I need all these buttons. These are good buttons. Uh, I don't need a hamstring. <laughs> and I, I think I think you nailed the gazentite. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how you spell it. Our resident German speakers can spell check. Anniversaries in February 18th, so we just celebrate that. There you go. That's really cute. I hazelnutty love the onesie. Why, thank you. We're staying staying toasty for Halloween. She's purring. I think she's happy. treats we got. 107. We'll finish getting these Dragon Elves ones and then we'll go shopping. <laughs> Shames DK, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. We missed the one at Dragon Scale Base Camp. I wasn't expecting to have like a like a Dragon Flight Blaster in the past, but it's just uh, there's so many so many candy buckets out here. 
28th was also my wife and I. Two year anniversary? Congratulations. <sighs> mm, not quite. Pretty close. Not quite there. Anniversaries are fun because you get to make them about whatever you guys as a couple find important and meaningful and fun. Like, there's no real rules about you must do this thing or that thing. So, you know, you guys get to decide for yourselves. And every couple's, like, so, like, unique, too. I feel like things that, that feel, like, cute and special and nice for one couple would be, like, totally different for somebody else. Candy buckets. Where did you hide the thingy? There it is. Right in front of me. Vagar, thank you very much for the 16 month Lisa. Go this way. Hmm. That's a long time for a long distance. That's so hard. I've done that before. I hope she can join you very, very soon. Kitty, do you think maybe you'd want to take a nap later? <laughs> we can make some arrangements. Fluff up the pillows, you know? The rivers of the waking shores are teeming with life today. She's but the best I nap buddy anybody's ever gonna have. I don't know how I'm ever gonna take naps without her. Think you can catalog the wildlife for me? She's so funny in that she'll come sleep next to me at bedtime, like at no, night, but she won't get under the covers at night. She only gets under the covers if it's like a daytime nap. I don't know why she draws that distinction, but she does. I like matching my my warrior. This is fun. Hundred and fourteen. Should be able to buy definitely one thing. Maybe I guess I'm trying to save up enough treats for another thing. I should make sure there's enough extras left. There's still all the Northrend candy buckets and the Fendari ones if I need them. And I want to do the Kazalgar ones as well once we get to 70. These bags are an absolute travesty. Does it look at least satisfying to have all of this stuff together? A little bit. That's a lot of toothpicks. Did all of Ravenholt and all of the pirate grind for the insane title? Congratulations. That is such a grind, even with the rep buffs. Good timing to work on it for sure. Uh, candy bucket over here. Yeah, an earthen would level really fast with this for sure. I'm kind of tempted, actually, to have him do some of these, uh, world, just, just this world quest, honestly, just because I happen to be, like, right on top of it. And he is leveling with candy buckets, but it wouldn't hurt to smash out, like, a couple of, uh, couple extra. Plus, you know, the, the Marmonies need me. They're in distress. <laughs> they need help. I want to try out shield charge. Because that's going to apply shield block, I'm pretty sure. And then I can... Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, that does a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> I like that. It's 
guy's my prop warrior. I'm pretty new to it. Put off farming the Ravenholt rep for years. Yeah. Sometimes I like a good... I mean, it's been a long time since I've done one. And maybe I wouldn't have the patience for them anymore. I did most of them when I was younger. But like a good, long, brutal, kill 10,000 mobs kind of grind. They're kind of zen. They're a bit meditative. Plus, you find all kinds of cool BOEs and stuff along the way. But nowadays, most things that you farm in that way, you're better off just trying to do it in a 2x4 group. And that's not really the same appeal for me, so I don't really worry about it anymore. It took me five hours to go from 10 to 71. That was before anniversary buffs. 10% warband buff and got lost a few times. Nice. As a healer, which class that you tend to prefer to have tank? So this is not going to be specifically about this season. I don't know how they're doing this season. But usually, all tanks are fine. Like you are saying. Brewmasters are usually my favorite because a good brewmaster that really uses their stagger well is going to take damage in a very smooth, easy to heal way. Which helps make things calmer, especially because I'm a holy priest and I'm doing very reactive healing. On the flip side, your blood death knights and your vengeance demon hunters are heart attack simulators because their health is just going to go bing, 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 bing. Um, and, and I prefer healing the brewmasters and then like kind of the warriors paladins um, because they are a little, they take damage a little tiny bit smoother. But that's just for me, and that's specifically because I'm a holy priest as well. It might, you might get a different answer from a different healer. <laughs> when I was a baby holy priest and I first encountered a blood DK. The trick with them is to make sure you're tracking their runic power bar and treat it as an extension of their health bar. If they have their blue bar and they die without using it, that's a them problem. And if they have their blue bar, you can just assume that they're going to be fine. <laughs> it's if they're out of runic power that you're, that you're worried about them. How are you enjoying Prot? You've tempted me to make a Prot Drakthir Warrior level. <laughs> Prot's kind of fun. It's satisfying. I like the uh, I like the tools that it has. It seems pretty easy to learn, but hard to master, which you could say about a lot of things. But I feel like I'm finding what I need to at least get on my feet with it. I like Shockwave a lot. <laughs> I like a big old, big old frontal AoE stun. 630 blood DK right now. I used to heal the Pally yesterday who only... Never used Shield of the Righteous. Like that was the only thing they used or they didn't use it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Actually, no, I know which is worse. But, uh... Oh, boy. Okay. Vampire Enthusiast. Thank you very much for the 10-month resub. Howdy, Hazel. Up to three Tier 2 remasters so far with the changes. How are you enjoying the anniversary? It's been good. I, uh, I like the token buffs. <laughs> I appreciate that they've made it more reasonable to get them. Sure, why not? <laughs> they never used it, they only used Eternal Flame. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, we got one more candy bucket over here, and then I think we can go shopping again. Go buy another thing. Hmm. I was convinced I was doing something wrong. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I really appreciate all the tanks in my life because it means that I don't have to do it. <laughs> and because they're generally on the whole, like, calm, rational, soothing to be around people that uh, just make you feel like everything's under control. And I appreciate that. I'm getting down? Oh, there you go. He's okay. You just landed on Jerome. Oh. <laughs> He's alright. Oh, what are we saying here? It's about 11.50. We're 
you trick or treat. More tanks in my life now. They're more chill. They're a genuine delight to be around. Um, they don't know they're buffed. Keep pulling half the instance. I don't know when that change went in. I tanked a couple of time walking dungeons just at the beginning of the anniversary event, like a week or two ago. I haven't done many in the last week. But yeah, if people if people pull off of me, then they can tank it. And if they don't, then they might die. Sometimes people die. Uh, I don't think it's worth going to the Forbidden Reach for one more. So we're gonna... We want to go to... Shop. Just after this week's patch. Okay, probably haven't done it then. Probably not yet. I'm a little sleepy. What's this for? And what do you are. want? What is it? I don't know what you want. <laughs> I'm too afraid to find out. Mob scale with your item level, everything's HP's buffed. Um yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm if I'm picking up what they're putting down with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's in deep palm. <laughs> I'm like, why is there one up in the valley, like the element spot? There's not. Trying to learn Prevoker to support them on more tunes than just my Holy Priest. Prevoker is really fun. They have such cool tools. They have cool tools. And good mobility. Price difference between your IRL Murloc and the in-game one. I don't remember, honestly. This one was gifted to me. Um, someone sent this to my P.O. box a million years ago when I had a P.O. box. I did buy the outfit, though. I think I bought it with tokens. I think. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that these used to retail around $100. And that the, the in-game outfit was less than that. Like 20 or 30 or something. Oh. Although I also have... Uh, the sat shells were a separate... Separate, not included. Unrelated. I am. Pardon me. Um, I was on sale a week or so ago for $10. Yeah, it's one of my favorite shop mods. I hope they do recolors of it for Trading Post eventually. Oh, that reminds me. I never looked at the Trading Post preview. I completely, I was going to do it yesterday, I completely forgot. I should do it after this. Okay. So I have 128 tricky treats. We're saving up 100 for this, 50 for this, and then another 150 for that. I think I'm going to do the claw. Skull and claw. There we go. And then he'll get, he'll get the, another 22, and then he'll get the, uh, I wonder how many um, tricky treats you get for Headless Horseman. I know it gives you a couple. It might be a fast thing to do. It also says it has a chance to drop the, the shoulder cape and stuff. I don't know if that's the case. Hmm. Did you get your dog a costume? I didn't buy a new one. I'm going to see if the old one maybe fits. If I'm, uh, if I'm up to it. There's a Murloc balloon pet. Where? Who has it? I shall send you myself to the lifeless. I know there's a there's a toy there's a pet vendor. But I have all the pets already. Unless it's on a different vendor. No we're going secret boss, still end game heart. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, six to ten would be good. Be worth a couple of a uh, couple of tricky treats. So eager you are for my oh, not Hell's End. Gotcha. Balloons. I might have it. Your weak, your young 
I misunderstood. I thought I thought we meant hell was in. Balloon. 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 <laughs> what if instead of saying sentences on stream, I just do one word at a time and I repeat it six to seven times to make sure that it sinks in? <laughs> Efficient use of brain cells for me. Oh, um. okay. Got this net without realizing it was rare. People were mad. Yeah, I bet. I just used Thunderous Roar. It must have done some damage. As far as I can tell, nothing happened. I think it put up a bleed. Oh no, not the pumpkin breath. Maybe your Murloc costume summoned more locks. <laughs> That's actually quite clever. <laughs> Hope that's not a Tortolan shell. Oh. Not everything you find in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. Ninety plus attempts and I still haven't gotten Arthas. Hmm. What we get? We got um Fire consume. You try treats? and fail. Let there be Oh, it's no in my pumpkin. Doubt. Uh, eight tricky treats. Also a squashling and a magic broom. We don't need it. <laughs> we don't need that either. No one wants those. They're not worth anything. So if we get another 22 treats... Actually, not even 22. Uh, how many more treats? 14 of them. We will be able to get... Get some stuff. So let's get ourselves to... Let's get ourselves to North Rinder Pandaria. How do I want to do that? I know there's a portal on the Zeppelin Tower there. North Render Pen. Oh yeah, they'll port me right back. That's nice. Now the treats aren't transferable, so you want to kind of farm exactly how many you want to spend. And then if you need more, then you'll be able to get out of additional candy buckets. Then you would use a new character. Because you can you can do the same bucket multiple times if you use multiple characters, but there's a lot of different um there's a lot of different places to tricky treat. Let's do Pandaria. Hope they change how fishing pools work like they did with gathering nodes. They did um hotfix and make some of the pools last a bit longer. Um the Royal Ripples and I think the blood pools got got touched up for the fishing derby. But I think it's it's just like a game wide Oh, I didn't hit my macro correctly. It's okay though. Actually, I don't know if- hey! I've been- I've been kidnapped. <laughs> I don't know if I actually looted that pumpkin. I did, but it didn't come off my map for some reason. Strange. Excited for anything- oh, that's right! I need to look at it! Yeah, good- good- good looking out. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta look it up. I for- I haven't looked yet, but I keep forgetting. Let's check it out right now. It's an anniversary celebration at the November Trading Post. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Four iconic back appearance shields representing the factions. And they've extended the bar, letting us earn an extra 500 tender. That's nice. A little bone. Dark Ranger General's kit. <laughs> Sylvanas cosplay. All right. Headgear, High Scholar's Arcana. Hmm. Hmm. 
I see a lot of Sylvanas running around soon. <laughs> Let's see here. So they've got lots of shoulder capes. Drape of the Guardian's back. Tondum's back. They want 850 for the Sylvanas outfit. They've also got a Gladiator's Battered Armor set for 850 or the High Scholar's Arcana. I wonder why they didn't preview the other one. I guess Wowhead probably has it. There's an Amani Longbow. Uh, class sets and armor sets. Class restrictions and armor and weapon use have been lifted. If you have a male user, they can use any male armor set transmog appearance. And if your class can use one-handed maces. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, they had the, the formerly class limited stuff. Varian sword looks nice. The fan as a fist weapon is kind of awesome. That's that's cool. Also, this staff is beautiful. I could see myself getting the, the monk arsenal without any intention of playing a monk. <laughs> just for the uh, just for the Mistweaver staff. I have these, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so the bonus reward gives you the four. So you get all four of them. That's kind of nice that they're not making you pick. Bought that set just for the staff. And then there's that, yeah. I think I'm going to save a lot of tender. I don't know if I'm going to get the Sylvanas outfit. I don't think so. I'll preview it and see if it <laughs> stirs any feelings when it comes out tomorrow, but... Uh, are, are all of them going to be up? It looked like it. Unless I'm misunderstanding the post. <sighs> I suppose the chess piece is like four variations? Mm. That is kind of neat. It's a savings pun. Plus, with an extra 500 tender to earn. I'm sitting on 1650. I know they've got some cool stuff coming in around December. For the holidays. I just want to get um, this up to 50. I just want nine more treats. And then I'll buy the, uh, the, what is it? The cloak? The shoulder capes? But yeah, that's nice. And then after that, I might wrap up a little early today. We're pretty tired. <laughs> We're pretty sleepy today. We didn't sleep super good. Um, there we go. My yoga teacher wants me to start going to the harder lead yoga classes and not my Kobe beginners class <laughs> that I like. I mean, I'm sure I could also continue going to my beginners class for as long as I want. There's no rule that you have to stop going, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can keep up. I guess there's one way to find out. I do like my troll in the Murloc, in the Murloc getup. I might leave that on him after Hallow's End. He's cute. This is kind of making me remember. I don't know about nostalgic for, but Miss Remix a little bit. You're done with your yoga carved crests. It's time to move up to the rune yoga crests. <laughs> I would say maybe I'm done with the weathered and we're moving up to carved. <laughs> If we're, if we're sticking with that metaphor. Ruined and... Ruined and gilded are a long ways off. He said I could try the full, the full primary class. And I'm thinking... The whole back half of the, whole, of the full primary series includes all kinds of human pretzel feats of strength that I could not even begin to think about doing. I don't even like looking when other people do it. Because I don't want to freak myself out. <laughs> Gilded yoga is like actual gymnastics. A lot of yoga um, is actually has been kind of cross developed from both the the roots of um, like the the sutras, but also um, in the in the turn of the century, like a the colonial influence of England on India and the popularity of gymnastics as like a fitness thing actually caused a lot of um, 
gymnastics influence on some of the modern schools of yoga. So if you're if you're practicing Ashtanga, that's one of the things that they taught us about actually is that yes, this is this is this is essentially from India, but there is a lot of gymnastics influence and some of the stuff is just straight up ripped off from gymnastics. Um, which is the fun thing is that I feel like you certainly could practice gymnastics as an adult for the first time in your 30s just for fun and fitness, but it would be like just a slightly strange thing to do, at least in my mind. You think of gymnastics as something that like really young people do and they start very young and they kind of destroy their bodies doing it and then you reach a certain age and then you stop. Um, hopefully while all of your joints still work. And uh, and having a having a slightly more toned down version that you can do without blowing up your body, assuming that you're careful. Um, it's just a more normal thing to start in your 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s. Or 70s. There's no wrong time. Did I get all my, my treats? Yeah, we got 54. We don't need any more for the moment. I could use... You know what? Let's do one more just for just to get into level 67. Because he's so close to leveling up. Age out of gymnastics at like 20. I've heard that. But I also watched um, Simone Biles at the Olympics. So <laughs> I'm choosing to believe that that's uh, something that the, the sport is is letting go of a tiny bit. Mm. That was a fun Olympics to watch. I liked that. I liked that a lot. It was really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Level sixty-seven. And I guess if I wanted to go back to Orgamar, I could just um port I could just fly back to Hundred Village and then port again. It's been around since I started paying attention to the Olympics and has never left. Yeah. I heard that the um I don't know if it's out or if they were if it was coming out soon, but the second part of the Netflix documentary on her was coming out. And I had watched the first part and really enjoyed it, so I was looking forward to it. We did that one already. We're just looking for the portal. What was your job before streaming? It's been, um, let's see, 11 years that I've done this. So <laughs> bear that in mind. But I had a retail job before this. I worked in sales. I was uh, 20 or 21 the last time that I, that I held a job outside of this. And it was sales. I worked at a. I worked at a future shop. Rest in peace. <laughs> How'd you get your spectral tiger? Bought it with gold, uh, years ago. Quite a few years ago. I wonder if there's like a feat of strength for it. I don't know if they have them for that. No, that's something else. I don't think there's an achievement for it. Um, I, re I remember where I was because I, it was posted on the auction house. This was Warlords of Draenor, I think. And I had been farming gold and making gold and doing mission tables for gold and doing all kinds of stuff. And I'd saved up. I think it might have... It was over a million, which was a lot for me at the time. It was before I really got into gold making the way I, I did later. And um, I had been saving up because there was one listed on the auction house. But then when it came to time to buy it, I remembered about the auction house like cut. And I was like, wow, that's going to be huge for an item that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wisp. I'm going to send an in-game mail, not a whisper because I didn't know if they would be logged on, but an in-game mail to the name of the person that had it for sale because it was just, you know, somebody on my server. And I asked them if I could buy it off of them in person 
for and we would split the difference basically the extra 10 percent auction house cut i would pay five percent less and they would get five percent more um than the auction house listed point because we could we could cut out the the middleman and i arranged a time and i logged on and met them and bought it to them like by trading them the gold in the trade window it was the only time i've ever done that in my life um and i will always remember it i was in the stormwind canals at the time and i like learned it and mounted up on it and rode away <laughs> off into the sunset Hmm. My horseman druid group was all druids. Right. Prowler's faded shoulder cape. Nice. Does it have like a buckle on it? It does have a little buckle on it. Gotta love a good buckle. Yeah, I don't think it knows how long I've had it for. I'm pretty sure it was Mop. Or not Mop, Wad. I don't think I had this kind of golden Mop. I love that you can see his legs through it. <laughs> nice. Uh, I didn't buy the, the non, the regular Spectral Tiger. I only have the Swift version. I could only afford one of them, and I decided to save up more for the, the cooler one. Do you think the new island will be the exact same rare and chest grind? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. With a little with a couple extra sprinkles that make it a little different. <sighs> I think that's gonna be more or less what it is. This guy I think has done tricky treating. Well I need he needs like what, a hundred more? And it says I need the, the headgear, which is a hundred yeah, no, I need hundred and fifty more. Um, and he's got four, and I don't want to do dailies, and he could do it, especially because there are definitely some in Kazalgar as well, so once he gets to 70, he can start getting those ones, but it might be safer for me to just, well, there are a lot left in Pandaria. It might be safer for me to just do the, the last 150 on a different character. Because then I would also have all of these ones available. Do they not put them on the beam on anymore? I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, I think he's done. So I think he can, uh, <laughs> I can probably clean out like his, his bags. Can you vendor most of this? I know you can vendor the that pouches. Any pouches. Oh. <laughs> he is level 67 and he is wearing the same white quality boots that he spawned into the game in. Good grief. Well, I'm not going to put male or boots, boots on him. I could. I won't. That's so funny. Uh, those are also a big upgrade. I have um, heirlooms in most slots, but some slots don't have heirlooms available. And then he can actually wear the sepulchre tier gloves that I sent him to learn his transmog as an upgrade because he had pretty bad gloves on. So the wands I think we're going to have to delete and the candies. And the jack-o'-lanterns. My goodness. Well, I think I can probably spare you guys from this riveting gameplay. <laughs> Satisfying post-tricky treating bag cleanup stream. Let's go. Awesome. Bunch of characters like that after the pre-patch event. Level 70 and I'm level 52. I'm sure I could get him boots from something or another. Once he's level 80, I have um, quite a selection of warband equipped gear in my in my warband bank. And I might even, in three more levels at 70, be able to give him some pre-patch event gear. I still have some of that saved. Bless you. Bless you. 
You all good? Big sneezes? Dusty back there? <laughs> Many tiny sneezes. She's done that forever. She doesn't sneeze just once. She sneezes like 13 times in a row. I used to call them sneezers. It looks very distressing. <laughs> Do you like the level 71 blue crafted gear for more within? Hmm. I don't, I've never seen her reverse sneeze. She's usually outward sneezing. Because if she's in front of you, it'll spray. <laughs> But um, my dog and the dog that I had in the past as well both um, would sometimes get episodes of reverse sneezing. Joker had it pretty often. It was a pretty big um, annoyance for him. Moose only gets it if he's like really holding his feelings in for some reason. He gives himself the hiccups actually. Like if he's restraining himself from something, like he's trying to not eat a treat that he knows that you have or like beg for it or like the cat's walking in front of him and he's just trying to like stay still and let her let her go. And whenever he's restraining himself, he, like, gives himself the hiccups, which is really funny. It's like he just gets a little too excited, and he holds it in a little too much, and then... Ugh. Oh, kitty, you're, you're up. You're good. You're okay. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Oh. I'm a grunty. You choose a birth if you want many spreads of sneezes, or get them all out in one go. All right. All right. I think, um... I think it is about, well, actually, you know, if we wait for four more minutes, we can do the mound off. Wouldn't that be fun? One more, one more mount off? For the day? And that'll get us, like, not quite to the end of my normal stream time slot, but closer, anyway. Night crawlers. Yeah, there we go. Bag's looking much better. was done talking to you anyways. Mount Mania. Yeah! Now that he's getting rested again, let's go head down the mountain. I've been using the farmer title, but sometimes when I remember, I switch out to Lord of the Rings. Uh, for the Mount Mania, you know. <laughs> Beyond theme. I don't remember what Knight of Feathersworth is from, but it's very funny. <laughs> Good pet to summon for this. Maybe um the one of the Hallows End cats. The one the feeling familiar. She gets up on a on a broom sometimes when you mount up. Plus she's spooky and on brand. Hmm. Wowhead usually tracks the WoW token prices for both NA and EU. It looks like. Looks like uh, 268,907 for North America. 268k for basically 269k for a WoW token in North America and 325k for EU currently. You can track it with add ons. From 1800 pets. Hmm. We lost our first uh, Mount Mania yesterday, I think. But there's not that many people here. And also, it was a lucky break. <laughs> oh, I love the level 13. Shamanado. He's got his brand new lightning shield up. Managed to buy a sneaky token. 450k. Holy moly. 
Settle up and put your menagerie to the test in Mount Mania! Why are they so much higher? EU token price has always been higher. There's Get probably cultural and socioeconomic reasons for it, but I'd hate to speculate. <laughs> Some people say it's because uh, in Europe people get a more reasonable amount of time off um, so that they can uh, they they have more <laughs> time to actually play and farm gold for tokens if they want them. Whereas in NA people work so much. It's just a stereotype. I'm sure it's not universally true, but people like spend so much time at work that it makes way more sense for them to trade the money they earned at work for gold to use in WoW, because they only have a little bit of time to play. They don't get as much vacation. Alright, we're two for two. Yeah, because it's all supply and demand. It just depends on how many people want to buy it with gold versus how many people... How many people want the balance versus how many people want the gold? How how likely is this population of people to to spend their money for gold? Um, um, and that would be influenced by a lot of factors. Have... Um, we had our last guild raid for this tier last night, so we're done raiding now, but we just finished up. I'm still doing keys sometimes here and there for fun. Alt runs. We've got a couple more tens to do. We just can't seem to find the right time to get them done. still playing. Get ready for the next it would be nice if I got a little bit, if I got a little bit more rating just because I'm at 2496 Mythic Plus rating right now. And, uh, you know, you get you get a, an achievement and like a Mog and stuff at 2500, so I just need like a, a good Necrotic Wake or a Stone Vault or something. Get ready for the next mount! This is Mount Journal Enhanced. Um, there's a button at the top that lets you sync your Mount Journal with your target. So I have Abigail targeted. Plumber can also give you a button to summon the relevant mount. Yeah, our guild usually stops. It, it depends. It kind of depends on when people feel like they're done. You can usually tell when the guild is losing steam. Because um, we start sucking. <laughs> We start struggling to re-clear bosses that we've had on a farm because nobody cares anymore and people are like multitasking and not paying attention. Guilty. Um, and that's usually when it's about time to call it. Uh, people will often be about finished with gear by then, but even if we're not, like we stopped raiding yes, Sarkareth before I got the mount. legendary because it was not dropping for me and we were all feeling pretty done. There's a rusted proto. Kept losing because of the Jeweled Panthers, so I just went ahead and bought them all. <laughs> but yeah, last night we had the mess. I forget what boss it was. It was a couple of bosses. We had some very messy... Oh, was it... Um, it was It was either Kaiveza or it might have been... Yeah, it was Kaiveza. Just absolute sheer negligence going around from most people. Um, it was It was like a pug. It was so funny because we had that one like down. <laughs> But yeah, portals everywhere, lines slicing through the rain. Just chaos. <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't more of these things. They're only 40 gold. Up next, we have... Um, I don't know if the Panthers... I, I guess the, maybe the materials for them aren't as expensive. I don't really know for sure. Really? Nobody else with the Gold Toad Albatross? <laughs> we did devastating 5% pull on Mythic Kaivaza last night. Progress for us. Oh no. That's a dead boss. That's that's a dead boss. It's just... <laughs> you just gotta have that one really good pull. We're 10 for 10 so far. We've... Lucky, lucky run. Keep winning out because of that. I actually have this one. I burned some gold to buy tokens to get it. Oh no, this is the trading post one, but I have the purple one as well. I never, it's so cute and I never use it. I wonder if it's just because it's like a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is with it. Maybe I'll whip it out in February. Up next, we have... 
Um, mount Journal Enhanced is selecting the same mount as her. Using this uh, Sync Journal with Target feature. Plumber is another add-on that you might have that can do this. Nice kitty cat. Up next, oh, for heaven's sake. Have... Honor level 500. <laughs> you bully. <laughs> I would be so impressed if I saw anybody whip that thing out. Slash frown. There's no slash frown? Oh no, there is. <laughs> uh, my honor level. I can check. It ain't 500, though. It also hasn't moved in a long time. 104. Oh. You good? <laughs> yeah, almost there. <laughs> I should have abused it in Legion when you could just do world quests on like a million characters and grind it out that way. Get ready for the I didn't next though. Alright. How many people? On a time loss proto. Just me? Just me. Simon says. Kind of. It's like a Simon says but with your mount collection. <laughs> if you don't have the mount you can't get up on it. It's me! Woo! And you and deal to the 14? Come back later Thanks for another round of Mount Mania. Just finished getting my War Within War Mode meta. Nice! Got me like 10 levels of honor. I stay flagged just in case I'm in a zone with the 500 honor bounty drops. Oh. Uh, yeah, I need to. Needs a strong word. I don't think. Like, if the season ended and I never got Keystone Hero. It's fine. It's, it's not not very personally meaningful to me, but it would be nice to just kind of just because we're so close, it would be nice to at some point this season finish it out. I'm sure we will. Um, we're going to want to time at least a City of Threads and a Stone Vault on 10s to get the portals. Tierna Scythe and Necrotic Wake I have portals for already from their original seasons, but these two I don't yet have portals for, so it would be good to get those done. Maleficent, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Thank you all for joining me today, guys. I appreciate you keeping me company. I am planning to be back on tomorrow. It'll be November 1st, so even I don't know how much shopping we're doing on the trading post, but we can at least uh, do our activities and fill up our bar and stuff. Thank you so much for spending this time with me, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.